some snow today and we're back to working on these culverts. I just want to get them all cut up and ready. I don't know if I'll get the skids under them this spring or not, but at least get them cut and be able to take the bellies out and get rid of all the junk and clean this area up. But So this was about 50 some feet long. So we're cut, cut it in half all the way around. So then this side will be 25 and this one will be like 26, I think. So cut it in half and then right now Cooper's can go in with a split gate or you can put a pair or two in them if you need to. I took the skid steer and came in and just pushed the other half of this culvert out of the way. So this will be a shed and this will be a shed. Now we got tractor and skid steer picking up and we've just got a couple little cuts to make and then the top will be separated from the bottom so we'll bring the plasma in and make a couple cuts as we will go bang Billy, come here.
bought this shed last year from my dad. Reese was going to use it as a calf shelter. And then, of course, it just sat in our yard and accumulated with a bunch of junk. So, my honey is now moving it. So it can be a horse shed. He's worried it might break. But it seems to be okay. Horses and I will be much happier. Yay! Went to move the yearlings off the fence line and had two cats and four dogs. I don't know where the old dog went. Had lots of help. And Baylor, huh? Yep. Yep. Two cats, four dogs, and Baylor to help move some yearlings. Today on the Adventures of Circle P, we're helping my dad pour concrete. My parents are moving just a little ways away and we're pouring the footing. This is putting bolts in. He was pounding the walls to make sure they turn out good. And dad's running the pump truck. concrete with dad. It was my summer job a lot of times. Uh, he's gone to using the pump truck a lot more than he used to. Turns out when you get older it's a lot easier to use the pump truck than the regular concrete truck. So hopefully this will be one of his last pours. I doubt it, but maybe. Just finishing magging, using the derby to flatten it out. Gotta finish his bolts. And the trucks are headed out. Made Dad a little irritated. They fell. Made some nice divots in his driveway. Dad's not impressed. again today but you can see in the video got the culverts both of them cut up and sized and then the bellies and stuff are still laying there we're going to cut those up and make wind breaks out of the flat spot then the curved edges I'm going to lay down where my pivots are rutting in some swamp ground and that'll make a good track for those pivots so they don't sink but branding's coming up so 
beard it up and there's probably six or seven neighbors and stuff that got their beards ready so we're gonna have the branding beard bonanza we're gonna give you guys the chance to vote on the best beard and i've got some prizes for the guys so it should be fun kind of make the day enjoyable and people can get into it and then the viewers can vote on it and interact too so be sure to watch the upcoming branding video and vote for which one you like the best so you can get a, a rope or cash whichever they decide we're gonna have the people at Brandy vote for one prize and then YouTube viewers will vote to get the second prize. So thanks for watching and tune in for the next video.